SpeedyWeb helps you to file results much faster. If there's a lab result like this that's completely normal, just press Control Shift and N. And that will file it. If we go back, it files it as normal, no action. The important thing to recognize though that Control Shift and N files each result as the default. In this case, because they're both normal, the default is normal, no action. If I was to use that on this result, it would mark these as abnormal because EMISWeb has picked up that they're abnormal. So we actually need to manage this in a slightly different way. In fact, those two are marked as abnormal, but I'm quite happy with the full blood count, which is the fourth result here. So I'm going to press Control, Shift and 4, and this list comes up here, and I can choose what I want to say about it. This list is user-definable, so you can put exactly what you want in here. I'm actually going to put this one. Acceptable. No change needed due to this result, and press OK. For the lipids, which is the second one, I'm going to do Control Shift and 2, and I'm going to comment on this one. I'm going to W, enter my own comment. This is fine. Known high cholesterol. Let's say we want to comment on the first one as well, the renal function tests. Control Shift and 1. And I'm going to put message pass to user test. And now I'm going to comment on the third one, the fasting blood glucose. And I'm going to put Y, repeating six months. So I've now put comments on the first, the second, the third, and the fourth tests. We now need to file those. I'm going to press Control, Shift, and W. And it will show me what I've said about one, two, three, and four. You need to let it know how many tests there are in total. So if there weren't four, I'd need to put a number in here. It automatically defaults to the highest number that you've uh, put a comment in on. How many tests are in total? Four. I'm going to press OK. Would you like to send a task associated with this note? In general, you may not need to send tasks, but in this case, I do. So I'm going to put yes. So it defines, uh, it records all the things that you've predefined. And now I'm going to send a note to Tim Carroll. Again, if you have got uh, a task, uh, a patient task defined to send to a particular person, you can just press OK here and it will do that automatically. In my case, I haven't, so I'm putting Tim Carroll. So it finds me, comes down to the task. This is a good result. Control, Shift and S will send it for you. Now I'm going to auto archive all of these. And I'm going to imagine that the rest are normal. So let's say I want my uh, cup of tea and I want to do this automatically. I want to file all of these as the default. I'm going to just press Control, Shift and M. And SpeedyWeb will file them all as the default. And I can go off and have my cup of tea. You have to, of course, make sure before you do this uh, that you've checked them all and there's nothing that needs to be done checking the comments, checking the result itself. I often use the filter to filter out normal results before doing this. It's also important to note that you shouldn't have any open workflow tasks when you're trying to file uh, lab results using SpeedyWeb. The reason that you can't do it from this screen here with the open task list is because these icons move backwards and forwards as the name changes and of course that's impossible to uh, manage. Using this screen these icons stay exactly where they are enabling you to, uh, to do it properly. If you do have an open uh, workflow task you'll see that this is greyed out and when you try and uh, when you try and do any comments on it, using Control Shift and W, it shows you that it only works in the lab results workflow with an active result. So you need to close this, and then it becomes active again.